YouTube guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will see something special. So, what's it? It's a finger counter. One, two, three, four. This counts our finger much properly. So, let's build it out. So, this is the code, and this is the previous episode code that we were writing. And right over here, there was landmarks and that only stuff. So, here, what we need to do is get and every coordinate of these finger of these means these are coordinates of every finger and every distance between it so how to get it so uh, it's very very much simple so i will create here a variable so first will be the up count we means the count of the numbers that will be showing on the screen and there will be an one more variable which is hand number which will be always which will be always zero it will not change at all and i will create here and list let's see. so i will call it lm list and it will be blank right over here so let me just change it to small letter okay so right over here what i will do afterwards is at the for loop i will just say id and lm means the element in enumerate so what we want to enumerate so we want to enumerate okay so here we will enumerate results dot multi landmark thing right over here and here will be hand number hand number and here will be dot land mark so we'll access every landmark in it and enumerate it right so it's much simple right now and i will say here height width and calculate so what i will just do is image dot shape we will get the shape of the image as per it and then we will calculate the x axis and the y axis and here i want an integer i will convert the to the integer and i will say here lm dot x so i want to convert lm dot x into integer and multiply it by w so similarly i'll just do one more integer for the second variable integer lm dot y multiplied by h height okay so write like that and then i will say here lm list dot append and we will just append the cx and the cy so it will get all the fingers coordinate means if i just show you running it okay so nothing will happen because we are just getting data but still let's see it's just compiling the code for tens of packet okay so it shows an error what's it lm list dot app and cx c y okay so what's the problem over here we can't happen like that so i will convert it into, into an tuple so that will be easy so now it will work let's see okay so it's compared okay right over here you can see so i was talking about these all points so it just get all the points and what you can do is use cv dot filled to remove that border like thing so i will just do that right over here to change the color so what i will just do is say here four point and the lm list means the element list and what i'll do here is say cv2 dot circle so we want to draw a circle and where we want to draw so it's image so and point and then the size let's keep it at five and then the color code so i want green so i will keep it like that and remember that it's bgr not rbg so it's just flipped of the rgb code so let's see and the next next thing we need is cv2 dot fill to remove the borders that we get so 
Kaisi. Okay, it's compiling. Then the blue light package. Okay, right over here. So you can see that everything is green, right? So it's not even having that border like thing. So it can only calculate first one hand. And if second hand comes, then it calculates the right hand, right? So next thing, what we want to do is display the up count variable as a text, right? So I say here cp2 dot put text put text and what where we want to put? Of course, the image where we have made the variable on. And the next thing is the string. So this I will convert string the up count. And the next thing that is the axis, so 50, 150, 150. And then the next thing is uh, the font. So here will be cv2 dot font or sheets plain. So that so that is the font which I'm choosing right now. It's it's not that good, but you can choose your font that you like. But let's see. And now the next thing is the font size and then the color code so it's so it's let's keep it as red like that like that and then the next thing will be font. okay so now if i run it it will work fine i think okay Okay, right over here you can see it shows us zero but it's not counting anything right so to make the counting thing what we need to do is take the tip so here's here are the things that we need so here are the coordinates so we want to match the coordinates with the finger so eight six means the one bend and eight sixes up means one open so like that we are setting so i will say here fingers coordinate coordinate and i will say here and list as tuple inside tuple so there will be four and for thumb i will create differently and i believe the first is eight and six eight and six and then the second is 12 and 10 12 and 10 and then the third is 16 and 14 16 and 14 and the next is 20 and uh, 18 20 and 18 like that so we have created our finger coordinates now we need and coordinate separate for thumb so i'll say here thumb cor coordinate so there is a twist with the thumb that's why we are creating different so what's the twist the twist is that what happens is for the thumb we can't bend the finger from two so it's the it's and bone so we can bend it so we can use here three and four and three that we can use to mark so i'll use uh, and single tuple four and three right like that okay so we also have set up for thumb and the last things thing is very much simple I will here run and for loop okay so what will be in the for loop so here will be the finger coordinates that we have so let's keep it coordinate only coordinate and it will be inside of finger coordinate write that so it will be inside of the fingers coordinates so what will be next is we want to run here an if loop so we will access elements from the list so what we want to access right over here so here the index will be coming so here i want to access uh, coordinates so the index will be from the coordinate means the finger of single coordinate of the finger and inside that inside the coordinate i want to access the zero index and from the element list i want to access 
the second element means first is first is the points and the second means the fingers right so and i want to check that it is great less than greater than sign and then okay and i will copy this lm list thing and paste it over here okay so and here what i will do is replace the zero with one right that and i will say here account plus equals to one so as you have seen that it will not work for thumb if i show you so it's creating the package again once if the package is created then it will not take much time afterwards so the okay right over here so if i show here four it counts one two three but four five the thumb doesn't work so how to make it work right so to make it working what we have to do is use our separate thumb tip so i will just copy this thing similarly okay right over here so i will replace the coordinate with thumb coordinate and here what will come is 10 and 00, 00 so this is because we are only accessing for single single finger not all of these four fingers right so here what i'll do is account plus equals to 1 simple as that so now if we see so it's just compiling okay right over here so here shows 0 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 okay so it's 1 2 and okay it's taking 3 okay it's for the thumb finger okay so the mistake i was doing is i have to change the sign right so that's why it was taking opposite thing of that so i want to not it should be not like that so it should be opposite of it so i just said it it should be opposite so now if we see 0 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so it just works fine so this was the tutorial and we just made it in very less lines it's 38 lines and in here are also some extra spaces and thanks for watching guys